Number nine, can AI replace or supplement roles like graphic designers? And how accessible are these AI tools for non-designers to create their own visuals? Yeah, so for me, I think the simplest way, and I'll keep this answer extremely concise, is they are super powerful assistants and co-pilots. So I, I think the best way to think about AI is a very powerful intern or assistant, or in some cases, like data analytics, data analysis, it's going to be like a PhD level assistant. Like if you're going to be able to ask questions of your spreadsheets, you won't have to build pivot tables at a human. You can just ask it and tell it to build you visualizations. So I just think that there's certain knowledge tasks where it's, it is assisting you, but it's sometimes at a very high level. Right. So, you know, I, with the podcast, I'm using Canva to remove backgrounds from images. I'm making pretty basic images, but for us, that works for that particular need. For Descript, I'm using it to delete words to edit the edit the video. So, you know, it's a nicer video, but there's things like, you know, you ask me about a speaker reel. I'm project managing, putting together a speaker reel for you, for you right now. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. I won't pretend to do that. I'm not going to use an AI tool to help me do that because it's not going to give us the output that we want. So the professionals are still needed in, some, in most of those instances. And quite frankly, they don't want to be doing things like what I'm doing. They want, I mean, they want to be creative. They want to use their talents for much bigger things. So um, there is still a need for all of those pros and not just people like me. For sure. 